In this video, I'm showing you how to make your remote or distant learning experience better. Whether you're doing distance learning with your kids, you've been homeschooling the whole time, maybe you're doing a hybrid, half in school, half at home, this video is gonna give you ways to make it more exciting and easier. Seek Education is sponsoring this video and a fabulous giveaway. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Do you guys remember last year when I did a whole video when all of this new homeschooling, virtual learning, remote learning started? I did a video about field trips that you can take from the comfort of your own home. It's so great that we can take our kids online and have some experiences exploring in this virtual world and learning at the same time. I know that many of you that watch are homeschoolers or maybe you're doing remote or distance learning for the first time. Maybe you are doing a hybrid, a little bit of both with your teachers, or maybe you are a teacher too. So I wanted to show you some online resources so you can add some tools to your teaching and learning toolbox, especially since field trips are not what they used to be. My first tip is to find resources that really enhance the learning experience. Now I'm lucky enough to have Seek Education to sponsor this video and the really good giveaway, which I'll get to in just a few seconds. They provide a fabulous online resource that's augmented reality. They are an excellent resource too, and they provide lots of great value, which is the reason why I'm going to be using them as an example in this video. First, what is Seek Education? Seek Education is all about going virtual and even doing virtual field trips to world-renowned sites. You can show your kids the world in a virtual field trip using augmented reality, which makes it so lifelike. A value for Seek Education is that all you need is your computer or device. No other equipment is needed. When you find online resources online, it's always a huge bonus that you don't need extra stuff and you can be very budget friendly and not have to buy more. Tip number two is to make learning an experience. Students will retain 90% of the experience versus 10% of what they read or 20% of what they hear. Let me show you a little bit about what I mean by showing you what Seek Education offers and then a little bit about the giveaway too. I'm gonna to go ahead and log into the Seek Education website. I'm gonna put the link down below so you can go right to it. When you log in, you're going to see this first screen of this week's featured model, and then you can scroll down and you can see the section for lists. So you can make your own list, you can have a favorite list of all the models that you like to go to over and over again. Next up are the field trips. I'm gonna go over those in a little bit, and then we have these lists. We have what's new, what's popular, you have the staff picks, you have animated, and then you have all. Then you can go down further and you have the subjects. So they have divided them out for you so you can find them easily by subject. And you can find everything really, really fast. Then we have by grade level, which is actually my favorite because it divides it up from preschool to kindergarten all the way up to the university level. Like I said, you don't need to download a special app. You don't need goggles. You don't need headsets. All you need is a laptop or a device to log in and create an account. It's super simple to log in for a free trial. The free trial is seven days long, but Seek Education is offering an international giveaway. The giveaway is for three year long licenses to Seek Education. So let me tell you how to enter because it's really, really easy. The first thing you're gonna do is to log in for a free seven day trial on Seek Education. And then leave me a comment down below telling me how you would use Seek Education in your house. I'm really curious to hear all of your ideas. So back to Seek Education, let's see what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll off the main page all the way down here to see what we can take a look at. I'm gonna click on popular, because that seems like a good idea. Let's pull up this right flyer. So you have your choice where you can pick the view model or you can pick the QR code. And since I'm showing you on my desktop, I'm gonna go ahead and pick view model and I'll explain what that QR code is in a little bit. So here is our model. I can zoom in and get a really, really close look. I can even move it around the screen if I want. I can look underneath it. I can turn it to the side. I can see it from all different angles just using my mouse pad which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at another one. Let's pick the bottlenose dolphin. So I have the same two options for looking at the QR code or the model. I'm gonna pick the model and look at this one. It's animated, so it looks like the dolphin is actually moving. I can do all the same functions as the other one I showed you. I can zoom in, I can move it around, I can look underneath it and get a closer look if I wanted to at all angles of the dolphin. I like this one because it's animated and actually looks like it's alive and moving right in front of me. 
Let's go back to our screen to see what else we can find. We have the Discovery Space Shuttle. This one would be a huge hit in our house because I have a space lover. She loves everything about space, so this would be totally up her alley. Same thing, I'm gonna turn it around, get a look at the top, on the sides, get a close-up look here at the back, and to see everything. Let's try a location. We have the ancient Roman wall here, and this one I'm gonna pick the model to see on my computer, and the same thing, I'm gonna turn it around, I can see it all different angles. And this one's cool because this is something that we wouldn't be able to see in person. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when you pick that QR code. Here it is on my phone. So it's actually placed the model in my own environment in my house. I can move the phone around and take a look, see all the different parts of it. And I can also zoom in and do all the same functions that I did on my laptop. So I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, I can turn it around to see all different angles. So as you can see, we have everything right in front of us, 3D models, we have animations and sound, all right in front of us versus being in an augmented reality background. It's just kind of right there in our own environment. Right, tip number three is to pair with a learning curriculum. Think about how you can use this in your learning. Like if you were a teacher, you can take those QR codes, you can put them in your PowerPoint presentation, you can put them in your handouts, they can scan them and go right to the model that you're talking about. Or if you're doing virtual learning, you can just pop it on the screen and they can scan your screen and then go right to the model that you're speaking of, which is a very interactive way to keep all of those people who are participating in online school awake and fresh. I love that. So if you're talking about the human body, you can use Seek Education and the models to just take it a little step further. So you're gonna get a lot more detail understanding. Let's say that you wanted to learn more about the human skull, you can pull that up. It just is a great thing to pair with the current curriculum that you are already doing. And then when you do pull it up, you can get in close, you can turn it around, you can see all the great detail. Tip number four is to use your online resources as supporting aids. You can use these models to demonstrate what your kids are already learning in school. So if they're learning something, you can use these as support aids in addition to what they're already learning. Now, I know my kids are learning about the life cycles of bees. So all I need to do is hop on to Seek Education, pull up the bee model, and bam, it's there for them to look at and discover even further. It just takes that learning one step further. This is perfect for visual learners and an expansion on worksheets and textbooks. My tip number four is to actually use it for fun and maybe even take a field trip or two. Now we know this past year has been very difficult for field trips. My kids used to take field trips several times a year, three, four, five times, because it really takes the classroom out into a different learning experience to discover things in real life. So the field trips are really, really missed. The Seek Education has done some of this for you. So if you wanna take a field trip, they have this special section of just field trips that are PowerPoint presentations with information and even those QR codes already built in. So if you are a teacher or a homeschool parent, these are already done for you and that just makes it so much easier. And if you are just doing this for fun, it's a great way to hop in there, get a good look and learn more about the models you are visiting too. Let's take a look at some of the ones they are offering. So the field trips can be found on the main page right here under field trips. And you can see all the PowerPoint presentations that they have. And once again, these are all done for you. So you don't have to do all of the work in creating all of these slides. So you can also click on them individually and see what's involved. You'll see that there's a little information section, some pictures, and then the QR code, which you can scan with your phone or device to go directly to the 3D model in your environment. Each one is different and you can scroll through each of them really easily. There's also a little menu down here where you can make it full screen to show on your laptop. There's a section for doing speaker notes and some other functions too that might be applicable to you, especially if you are a teacher and doing this remotely with online learning. I love that you don't have to do the work. It's done for you. And to me, that is a big bonus. Tell me what you think about using these tips to complement your homeschool, online, virtual, remote, whatever category you fit in learning or maybe even just for fun. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to enter that giveaway, don't forget you just sign up for the seven day free trial. This is an international giveaway. Seek Education 
competition will pick three winners to win year-long licenses to Seek Education. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me how you're gonna be using Seek Education in your house too. Now it's gonna to go to a month after this video post and they're gonna comment down below who the winners are. So good luck to all of you. Now if you wanna get some ideas on my homeschool essentials on a budget, because I love a budget, then I'm also gonna put a video up here on screen that all you have to do is click on it to go check it out. You guys, click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.